What happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karath's vessel. My old mentor. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karath warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found an old man in the back. I, I think we should keep him separate from the others for questioning. A strange request. And why do you think this old man should be segregated? I, I'm not sure, Commander. After speaking with him, I just, I, I just think we should question him away from the others. I, I agree, Commander. After speaking with the old man, I think we should question him away from the others. Very well. The Admiral is probably too busy to bother with this old man anyway. Take him to solitary confinement for interrogation. Report back to me if you learn anything. We searched the ship from top to bottom. Somebody would have had to be invisible for us not to find them in there. Well done. Return to your posts and I'll tell the Admiral of this. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand the casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Even though it's likely the Admiral knows the truth, the Padawan still refuses to answer. This is the price of your resistance. <coughs> Enough! You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. No! The torture continues until Bastil loses consciousness. I'm surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I'm wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. 